Previously mentioned, Indonesian President Joko Widodo has acknowledged and expressed regret over the 12 serious human rights violation in the country's past. So acknowledgement is done. What comes next after this? Now today, right here in the studio, we have the Human Rights uh, Violation Non-Judicial Resol Resolution Team, excuse me, or Pepe Ham Chairman, Bapak Makarem Wibisono. Thank you very much, Bapak Makarem, to be Hello. here within Good our morning. studio. Good morning. It is, I think, such a uh, enlightened news to hear the president itself already acknowledge that major human rights violation, uh, you know, based on the reports of Pepe Ham. It's already you know, acknowledged by him also, and now there's more further on uh, programs and also agendas on this. Can you elaborate more? What can we see after this acknowledgement by the president? All right. Thank you. Uh, as you were aware, we have already uh, uh, expressed to uh, the ministers that when uh, the meeting with the presidents take place, yeah, uh, we have also uh, emphasized on the meeting of uh, uh, the implementation of the recommendation given yeah, by us to the government. Yeah. Because whatever the result of the outcome of the uh, team, yeah, it will be meaningless mm -hmm. if it is only mm -hmm. just mentioned as it is. Mm -hmm. It should be uh, implemented yeah, mm -hmm. based on the recommendation that has been formulated. Mm -hmm. Because uh, the process of uh, formulating the recommendation within us also uh, is actually uh, a very dynamic, yeah, because each of us representing yeah, uh, our uh, views as well as uh, uh, some uh, views of uh, some part of Indonesian people. Yeah. So therefore, uh, we uh, ask in detail you know, about what will be the future of this uh, uh, process. So according to uh, uh, the minister's explanation, uh, that as soon as uh, uh, yesterday event took place, yeah, uh, maybe today or the following, uh, on Monday, there will be a, a meeting of the cabinet, limited meeting of cabinet. Okay. And then uh, will be attended by the related ministers who are actually has a position to do something according to their uh, uh, function. Yeah. So uh, in that period of time, the president would like to elaborate uh, what will be uh, his intentions in order to implement the uh, recommendation and then will assign each minister uh, to uh, the specific point of the recommendation. For example, uh, if we are talking about memorabilia, mm. maybe uh, the president will assign the Minister of Public Affairs, yeah, right. uh, with regard, yeah. So uh, it depends on the uh, specific mandate that uh, the each minister will will carry out. So uh, it been in that period of time also, uh, uh, Minister of uh, Ma Ma Mahfud, yeah, explained that uh, there will be also a team, yeah, or satgas, yeah, uh, uh, task force that are actually uh, try to monitor, mm -hmm. you know, uh, what will be the implementation of uh, the recommendation uh, and to uh, what will be the progress of that. Yeah. If, if there is a problem on the implementation of one of the recommendation, we have to find out what will be uh, the way out, you know, yes. to try to uh, settle out the issue. So, uh, the main function of the, uh, the team, according to the ministry, is try to make sure, yeah, that the recommendation will be implemented. Yeah. Okay, so obviously this is still early in the process, but the process itself, I'm sure, has been quite long. As we saw in that previous clip with the president, uh, with his uh, announcement, uh, you were part of this team as well. How long did it take for the investigation of these so, uh, these incidents? You know, as you were aware, yeah, the uh, the crease, yeah, the Capres, uh, is actually signed in August. Yeah, so. Uh, and then uh, we actually tried to consolidate ourselves uh, in uh, September. And then the team itself start working on uh, October. Okay. So we uh, tried to meet with all social uh, organizations. We also met with the uh, uh, victims as well as the uh, family of the victims. Yeah. And then we also try to talk with the uh, non-governmental organizations who are actually accompanying the, the, the victims. 
and then yeah. uh, and then we also uh, uh, meeting with the authorities, for example, uh, with the attorney generals, with the, the police office, of uh, and, and all related uh, authorities. Yeah, uh, so we start uh, working to write it down. Yeah, in December. Yeah, in December mm -hmm. we start to uh, write it down in December, and then we also try to uh, make such kind of like a, a discussion among us. Yeah about what will be the best uh, uh, formulation on, on the issues mm -hmm. itself. Yeah. Yeah, so. But Makarim, is there any time frame? Because usually when we report this and then, uh, you know, at the first, the very, very beginning, it's very highlighted, you know, it's uh, in, the, in the media circle or whatnot. And then it's somewhat, by time, it's kind of subdued. Do you have the time frame itself uh, for all these uh, investigations, on the ongoing investigation itself? So, uh, actually, uh, in order to be able to do something in three months, yeah, uh, we have to be realistic. Yeah? Yes. What, what what will be the uh, the real objective yes. that we can achieve? Yeah. yeah. So uh, uh, according to uh, the instruction that we got, yeah, first we have to have uh, uh, analysis with regard to uh, the uh, human rights violation, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, in the past. Secondly, we have to have recognition, yeah, with regard to the. Uh, a problem of the victims, yeah, uh, and then finally, what will be the preventions, yeah, in order to make sure that the human rights abuse, yeah, will never again happens in Indonesia in the future. Right. right. Yeah. So based on the three uh, job description that we 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 we, we, are, we are given, uh, we try to find out uh, that we have a 12 people, you know, the the the, the team composed of 12 people, okay. and we assign. Uh, all of the people to go to to the 12 pers uh, to 12 uh, places that uh, 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 you know the, the destination of the, the the problem of the yes. the human rights abuse. So some goes to Wasior, oh, Wamena. Some goes to uh, Aceh. Yeah. Some goes to uh, Banyuwangi. Uh, go to several time. Yeah, and then uh, as soon as the phase is over. We uh, came together, mm -hmm. and then each of us explained to the groups, you know, about the situation mm -hmm. that that, uh, that they found it. Yeah, yeah. and then they, they they also explained about the typical uh, uh, problem that uh, uh, the, the victims have. Have yeah, for example, uh, on the issues of May 1998. Yeah, right. mm -hmm. there are some family actually put emphasis that uh, don't blow it up because uh, the victims has already. Uh, start a new life. Yeah. yeah, they have already. So yeah. they rekindle again those I mean, those traumas. That's right. Right. That's right. Yeah. 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 Uh, and then when we can also go to uh, the the problem of the uh, the killing mysteriously by uh, uh, the 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 the, uh, the military. Yeah. Uh, so uh, the family uh, insists that you know uh, his daughter is almost get married. With a military man, yeah. Mm -hmm. So if he uh, knows, yeah, uh, yeah, the the, the, the problems, problems yeah, he right. uh, says uh, uh, right. grandson right. of uh, a victim, so yeah. So it will be such kind of implications right. yeah. that may affect, it. yeah. <coughs> so therefore, uh, we pay time, try to uh, uh, analyze, yeah, <coughs> what will be actually the best way to. Yeah. Accommodate concern of that, and the approach has to be very subtle. It, it is seems. very and, sensitive. You know, obviously. sometimes when we're you know reporting this, we're like taking like how, what's what's the end goal here? Why is there something happening? What not? But how's the how's the ground feel? How's the field when there's so many dynamics that you have to kind of pursue? Yeah. How is it on the ground itself, Pamakana? Maybe you can share with us so <coughs> we kind of have the big picture and understand. Uh, but maybe uh, you're aware, yeah, on the first uh, month, yeah, uh, actually. Uh, there is a problem of uh, hesitation okay. with regard to uh, the genuine interest of the group. Mm. Some consider that this is only a political gesture in order to try to manipulate yeah, the uh, situation uh, because now it's uh, the end of the government terms and then uh, the election is, 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 uh, uh, is coming. Yeah? Uh, and then we also uh, facing a serious question uh, by the victims, yeah, that actually what will be the teams, yeah, uh, do 
yeah, going forward. Uh, well, yeah, and also uh, try to bring out about something for them. Yeah. And actually, uh, uh, what we have uh, done and explained to them yeah, that we are actually uh, not not uh, uh, such kind like uh, giving promise to to you at all. Yeah, mm -hmm. what we are going to uh, try to find out is what are the real problems that you are facing right now, okay. and what are actually the best way to overcome the problem that you are facing. Yeah, so uh, we uh, 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 explain to them that the product of our team is only a paper. Yeah, so composed of. Uh, analysis as well as uh, recommendation. So now, uh, after you explain to us, yeah. So I will work together with you how to convince the government that that all the recommendations that we propose to them are uh, implemented. Be yeah. Right. So so this is uh, not only uh, uh, the works of the member of the team, yeah, but it is the work of us. Yeah, we are together to to, to try to uh, overcome the problem because the problem itself has been already suffered for a long, long time. Right. Correct. Exactly. You know, one uh, I met uh, several uh, victims, yeah, uh, that are actually crying loudly in front of me and also in front of others. Yeah. yeah? So uh, this is indication that they are actually uh, suffering. Suffering. Yeah. Suffering. Exactly. suffering. Yeah. So uh, like you mentioned, some of these cases, a lot of time has passed. I mean, we refer back to 98. And if you talk about how people are trying to overcome that and are still, you know, trying to get over and move yeah. on with their lives, uh, if you go rewind further to 1965, I mean, that is a, a long time ago. Some are still deeply scarred by the trauma. Some are trying to put it behind them. That's right. What about the perpetrators? I mean, if there are deemed any perpetrators found guilty, would they be able to be brought to justice this far on after the incidences have passed? Of course, you know, according to the law of uh, human rights, yeah? Uh, there is no such kind of limitation. No time of, limit. No, no, no time limit. Right. So, uh, if uh, the issues can be uh, actually supported by a certain evidence based on the, the law, yeah, uh, the issues can be uh, put in the uh, process. Yeah. Uh, so, as you were aware, uh, even the the colonial Dutch yeah, yeah. recognized that what happens in the past yeah, yeah. which is already 250 years ago mm -hmm. yeah right. so this is also the case with these issues so there will be a long long process and then if uh, we have not been able to uh, find out yeah uh, our witnesses as well as evidence yeah uh, today or this year yeah maybe we can find out 10 years from now. Or well, 20 mm -hmm. years from now, yeah. Mm -hmm. So it is a process, right? Yeah. A process. But uh, uh, in the absence of this uh, uh, legal legalistic process, so we do non-judicial process. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah? Non-judicial process uh, is a little bit different with the uh, judicial process. The judicial process focus on the perpetrator. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. While the non-judicial process uh, focus on the Victims. Victims, correct. Yeah. yeah. Well, when we talk about, <clears throat> sorry, about Makarim, if we talk about the victims, what are some of the things that we're looking at? Because in, uh, I'm just comparing notes with other countries, perhaps yes. that have addressed these issues as well. Uh, perhaps the United States. There were reparations, if I went, if I, uh, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Would that be something uh, uh, that is uh, perhaps an option moving forward? Reparations for families of victims in the past, something like that. Yes. Yes. As you were aware, there is uh, uh, such kind of like. Uh, uh, instruments yeah, uh, that are already produced by uh, the United Nations about the guidance of uh, how to uh, repair uh, the, oh, yeah. the, the problems of uh, the human rights abuse yeah, uh, in the past. So uh, such kind like a very detailed recommendation made by uh, the United Nations uh, which is actually adopted unanimously by all okay. member states yeah, on the, uh, the way how to overcome the problems of the human rights abuse. Okay. So. Uh, we can see what you just mentioned about the uh, uh, conversation, yeah? also uh, the health uh, coverage, yeah? yes. and also uh, how about the uh, uh, kind of support for uh, the children's education. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, because uh, during the suffering situation, yeah, they have uh, really yes. have a very, very serious uh, problems of uh, uh, human life. Yeah? So therefore, uh, they do need 
help to try to make sure that his children can go to school. Overall, better mm. quality of life moving yeah. forward right. for their lineage. Right. You are right. Yeah. You are right. You are um, right. I'm very curious also about Makarim. Yeah. Uh, what is the main uh, uh, purpose, especially from a victim, like you said, you know, yeah. going to Pepam, other than for you to listen to their stories and whatnot, mm -hmm. uh, their human rights had been violated. Is that acknowledgement from the perpetrator also very important for them that you've done this to me and you have to, you know, you have to acknowledge it that you've done this to me and my family? Is that one of the... This, this, this true, you know, because wherever we did, yeah, go, yeah, uh, actually, all of the victims, mm -hmm. you know, they mention similar point that up to now, yeah, there is no statement made by the government to recognize that the cases happen. You're right. Yeah. So meaning that there is no attention given by them, yeah, on the the issue that they are facing. You know? mm -hmm. So uh, they insist, you know, that if we are possible, try to convince. Uh, uh, the government and the, the state, yeah, uh, to try to recognize this, you know. Right. Acknowledge because it. Acknowledge yes. it. Yeah, acknowledge it that this has happened. Mm -hmm. Yeah, That's with this uh, announcement, yeah, so uh, uh, they can talk with the family. Right. They can talk with the uh, relative, yeah, right. and they can talk also with the neighborhood, yeah, yes. uh, about the situation that they are facing. Yes. Because now, they are also facing a stigma. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, a stigma. Oh, you come from a family that like to against the law. Yeah, yeah right. So, right. Yeah, so uh, this stigma is just uh, very, very serious to them. Right. Mm. Yeah, by having such kind of like a, a recognition, yes, yeah, uh, by by uh, the government about the case, yeah. So it will help him yes. or help them, yeah, uh, to try to overcome the problems they are facing because they're. Stigma is really uh, as a key uh, that we are uh, interested to uh, put emphasis on the uh, recommendation that we have. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, Pama Karib, uh, finally, um, I don't know if you're able to answer this question. I wish we could yeah. uh, easily. Um, but in regards to this, this is a first important step for at least acknowledgement in order to find a solution. Yeah. But will we ever find a solution or Maybe a better question should be, will there be less human rights violations in the future now that the government has taken steps to acknowledge the past? Yeah, uh, as you were aware, we have discussed uh, uh, these issues with many people, yeah, uh, with also victims as well as the expertise uh, that are dealing with this. And then they explained to me, for example, uh, that uh, when we talk on the issues of uh, uh, 90 uh, 1965. Yeah? Yeah. We just focus on the issue of 1965. While actually uh, the issues started in 1948, but there is no actually a way to try to cut off uh, uh, the, the cases. Yeah. You know, it seems that there is a continuation from 1948. While there is a, uh, uh, cases of the killing of the, the several general, and then this exploded. Yeah, right. uh, as like reaction. So we have to have such kind of like effort to try to make cut off, mm -hmm. and then let's come together to see the future. Start yeah, fresh. which which is uh, actually different uh, with the past. Yeah. Right. So uh, this is actually uh, the important and then needed by the victim. Mm -hmm. You know that we are actually trying to make a cut off mm -hmm. and make it clear that that the situation is over, and then we can come to. Uh, a new life, right. and then we can see it uh, in our uh, neighborhood. How is the country uh, also facing uh, a new life with a new spirit, with togetherness? Yeah, because of making a clear cut off with yes. regard with the past. Got it. Definitely. Uh, it, yeah, you need to resolve something in the past if you want to move forward clearly. Yeah. Uh, Pama Karim, we do appreciate your time this morning. Thank you for joining us. And Thank we're you glad so to hear of this latest update and hope that there's more developments in the future. We're glad to have you back anytime. Thank you, Thank you very sir. much, Pama Karim. All Thank right, you. everyone, we're going to take a break right now. When we return, we'll have a recap of news from our previous segment. Stay tuned with us.